Kerstin ist unser Experte für Batteriematerialrecycling. Hallo Kerstin. Hallo Martin. Du hast eine Präsentation über Batteriematerialrecycling auf der research press Conference. Das ist ein wichtiges Thema, weil die Materialien, die in Batterien enthalten sind, zu wertvoll sind, um zu verwendet zu werden, am Ende des Lebens. That's right. The demand for electric vehicles is rising steadily and with that also the number of used batteries. Experts estimate that 1.5 million used battery packs will be available in the year 2030. It's just a question of sustainability that we need to recover the raw materials and feed them back into the battery value chain. Kerstin, please um, explain us once again how you can reclaim these raw materials. Sure. The batteries are collected and dismantled. In the second step, the batteries are shredded. And from these shredded materials, the valuable raw materials, cobalt, nickel and lithium can be recovered. This is done by chemical processes. However, today's processes have some disadvantages. They need a lot of energy, produce a lot of waste materials, or they don't have sufficient yields. And Kerstin, this is where you and your team come into play. Exactly. We are developing a new process to recover one of those materials, the lithium, at high yields and with high purity. In addition, our process avoids waste and reduces the CO2 footprint to existing processes significantly. Kerstin, great. And in this way, BSF supports the European Commission's goals of establishing a sustainable European battery value chain. Good morning, a warm welcome from Shanghai. My name is Ya Qian. I'm now standing in the Innovation Campus Shanghai, our largest R&D site in Asia, also a key component of our global R&D Verbund. Sustainability has become a key driver that is reshaping the world. At BSF, we're ramping up our research efforts to address this topic, particularly in the area of innovations enabling circular economy Biodegradable and bio-based polymer have been identified as key levers to facilitate a circular economy. Here in Asia, we're also witnessing a growing demand for more sustainable products and solutions. For example, for our customers in the packaging and home and personal care industry, biodegradability of their product is gaining more and more importance. In response to this customer needs, We opened a biodegradability lab in 2020. Scientists with a wide range of skills adopt a holistic approach in driving forward this complex area of research in Asia. Li Qun is one of BSF senior scientists for biopolymer research. Dear Li Qun, tell us more about your latest research activities. Thank you, Ya Qian. We elucidate the biodegradability of a new product based on international guidelines with our local expertise and test capacity here in Shanghai. Biodegradation in the aerobic process means the polymeric material can be metabolized by microorganisms completely to CO2, energy, water, and biomass. The biodegradability is measured by the CO2 evolution and oxygen consumption in a defined test system. As part of the global biopolymer research platform, we have built the test system for readily biodegradable based on OECD Zone 1 to intensify our product development in Asia for home and personal care industries. We are collaborating with academic experts and standardization committees in Asia for understanding biodegradation and end of life and developing new test methods. Thank you, Li Chui. We work together with our customers, research institutes and local authorities, proactively delivering sustainable innovations and solutions. This will be a driver for growth and advance a circular economy. And 
enzymes are one field where BSF is contributing to a sustainable future. Our Natufos E, a phytase enzyme, is a very good example for this solution. Animals need phosphorus for healthy growth. In plant feed, the phosphorus is bound to phytate. Adding phytase enzyme in the feed make this phosphorus available for the animals. With Natufos E, we created a highly active and stable phytase, which helps pigs and poultry to absorb phosphorus and other nutrients better. This leads to the reduction of the addition of inorganic phosphorus to the feed and helps to protect the Earth's rare phosphate resources. In addition, eutrophication by phosphorus excretion is reduced. Natufos E is a rationally designed hybrid of three naturally occurring phytase enzymes. By applying directed evolution and screening tens of thousands of enzyme variants, we further improve their performance. Enzymes are produced with the help of microorganisms. In the fermentation process, renewable resources like sucrose or glucose are converted by the microbe into a valuable enzyme. For high protein production, we edit the genome of the filamentous fungus Aspergillus niger and introduce a synthetic DNA encoding the new enzyme in several copies. Natufos E is one example. With technologies like in silico protein design, machine learning, new genome editing technologies, and computing power of BSF supercomputer, we are accelerating our speed of innovation for sustainable enzyme solution in the future. BASF, we create chemistry.